After the disappointing movie that was Thor, Love and Thunder, a.k.a. Thor 4, we have got the most fascinating and intriguing and anticipated movie of the year, at least when it comes to Marvel for me, is Wakanda Forever, a.k.a. Black Panther 2, because it's going to be introducing a lot of new characters, Ironheart, Namor, amongst others. So, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based content that we cover on a daily basis. If you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice, just check us out on Instagram at Wushju. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you check us out on Twitter, Wushju G. Right, let's get into this video. So, it appears that Marvel will be making a huge splash at San Diego Comic Con later this month. They're making big ways. According to Deadline, which is one of the most highly respectable trades, it said this. Marvel Studios Hall H 2022 San Diego Comic Con will make big waves with its up and coming Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Disney Plus series She-Hulk, but it will keep some powder dry for D23 early September. Now, I think Marvel missed a massive, massive trick. They could have showed off a teaser trailer for Black Panther 2 with Thor, Love and Thunder, which came out this week, well, Thursday, which is just gone, it's now Saturday. They could have debuted the trailer there. Why? Because we have no Marvel content now till November. Okay, cool. We have She-Hulk, but that's not really going to draw the numbers that a movie like Thor, Love and Thunder would. So, Black Panther is going to be big at San Diego Comic-Con. According to Deadline's report and according to every industry insider that has been talking about it because this movie is going to be introducing so many different factors and it's got to hit. We've just recently found out the world premiere for this event will be the 1st of November for Wakanda Forever and then it will hit the theatres on the 11th of November and obviously depending on where you live in the world. So we've had official images of Namor. It's now confirmed that Namor is going to be in this movie, but not only Namor isn't coming alone. We also have Namora, Atom and Namora with Namor, and they are both big freaking rivals of each other. Now, this is interesting because we've got concept art come out for Atom and Nora and concept come out for Namor, and it pretty much confirms that Namora will be in this movie for sure, but they're not exactly friendly, are they? So, this is all to do with Atlantis, obviously. So, we have Namor in this movie, and there's an article that I'm just reading here, and there is also being revealed there are two warriors, well-known supporting characters for the Atlantean King. They believe that the warriors are actually Namor and his cousin and warlord, Atama Namora. Now, what's interesting here is... Atama is part of the Atlantic tribe that is known to be barbaric. No man's. He is the leader of his kind and believes he is the true king of Atlantis. So it's uncertain if we might see an inter fight between the two. And that's what actually nudges Namor into getting into a conflict with the Wakandians. And that's how all these fights in this movie could actually happen. And I think this is going to be pretty darn interesting. Atta and Namora may actually be the real villain and manipulating Namor for the throne. That could be a case. Namor might not even be the villain. It might be Atta and Namora. Could be the overall villain that's causing this massive fight. Now, it is leg alleged that it will be actually down to Ironheart finding Vibramian for whatever use. And that is actually the rumor of why. They're going to have a massive battle. But this movie is so fascinating to me. I think it's going to be very fascinating. We're getting a trailer at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, bro, it hasn't been confirmed. No, it has not been confirmed. But it basically has been confirmed. Now, what I find fascinating is, is I'm, a little, I'm a little few days behind this because obviously I'm on vacation, is some people's childish reaction to Namor. Like, it's an actual cartoon character. Like, it's not what Namor actually looks like in the movie. It's going to look very different when you see Namor in the actual movie. But I get it. I get how some, some YouTube channels are when they talk about stuff. They have to be negative. But Namor looks pretty much comic book accurate. Like literally page ripped off the page comic book accurate. So I do find it in, interesting and fascinating. This movie 
is going to be freaking insane. Not only are we getting Neymar, Atamanora, we could be getting Storm, War Stew. So many different factors this movie of why it could be great. Right, I'm going to leave you the rest of the video, which will be me going over a bunch of plot details for this movie. So let's break it down. Reports which have now been confirmed that Namor will play a massive part in this movie. It's literally confirmed. Not only did we get behind the scenes a massive water tank on set for Namor, obviously, we also had Doctor Doom rumors dating back to 2019. Everyone's been talking about Doctor Doom, so no wonder there is so much freaking hype about this movie because we're not just going to be potentially getting a new Black Panther in obviously Mbaku is the most likely candidate, but there are reports going around from the internet that Shiri is going to have an active role in the Ironheart series. I get it. She's the most intelligent person, even more intelligent than Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man. Maybe Reed Richards. No, I'm joking. But Reed Richards technically isn't in the MCU yet. So, is she going to be the next Black Panther? No wonder there's so much freaking hype about the Black Panther movie because we could be getting a new Black Panther. Namor's going to be in it. Doctor Doom's going to be in it, potentially. And also Storm. And yes, I know I was wrong. I said The Rock was going to be Namor. We know he's not. He's Black Adam in the DCEU and not even... Okay, I guess The Rock could play a Marvel character and a DC character at the same time. So what is Doctor Doom going to potentially be doing in this movie? Now, it's worth saying the role is going to be very small. As we know, they have changed the backstory. Yeah, they've changed the backstory of Namor. But Namor backstory is actually kind of somewhat linked to Doctor Doom's role. So as we know, he's supposed to be from Atlantis. But they're changing this so he's actually going to be based on Mayan Latino. So they're changing the backstory massively. Now, recently in our most recent video we did on Wakanda forever. We had the first look at Namor and it's pretty much a comic book Acrea version of Namor, except for they are somewhat changing the role. Interesting. So reports suggest that it's going to be Mayan warriors and not Atlantis, essentially. But then the whole, there's a disturbance under the water coming from Atlantis. In Endgame doesn't make much sense, but they can retcon anything realistically. So it appears they are retooling Namor's story. So essentially what the rumors are saying is Namor's kingdom location as the new Mayan origin would imply it resides further west in the Atlantis Ocean than in the middle of it like in the comics. It could be how Riri Williams' intervention will lead to Wakandan going into conflict with a hidden civilization and led by Namor and it's all connected because if you go by the information Doctor Doom's role will be very little. It was reported earlier this year from Bleeding Cool that the very minor role would have him imply that the war between Wakanda and the Mayans civilization was down to Doctor Doom's interference. And then if you pull it, the pieces together, incursions, everything's built in Secret Wars, Doctor Doom, huge role in Secret Wars, would imply Doctor Doom it could slowly be building up from the background. We know we've got Kang the Conqueror in Ant-Man 3 and in the Loki series in a roundabout way. So we know... Kang is going to be involved. There's a lot of people I see online trying to make out that Doctor Doom isn't going to be involved in Secret Wars. But if they're going to put Doctor Doom in Black Panther 2, Secret be behind. Why Namor and why? the Wakandians fight, it would make sense this is a slow build-up to Doctor Doom properly being introduced. And as we know, Doctor Doom is a Fantastic Four villain, essentially. And as we also know, Feige's currently looking for someone more hands-on like Sammy Raimi so he doesn't have to do much because he's lazy. God, I'm going to get some comments. No, but he recently said that he wants to have backseat role, kind of like he had with Sammy Raimi, who I get it, it's Sam Raimi. I just call him Sam Raimi. Get over it. But he wants like a backseat role. Now, Doctor Doom has a connection to the hidden African nation in the comic. Having attempted to use his power to take over the Wakandian in multiple runs over the last couple of decades. Additionally, teases of the MCU exist have already been specifically teased in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Latvia, all signs nod to Doctor Doom appearing because the rumors were right about Namor back in 2019 and the rumors will be right about that. Not only that, I don't generally go by Twitter scoopers, but let's be honest, Daniel Rickman 
is a very good scuba and his information is always fire. So on May the 21st, he tweeted Dr. Doom sitting down. Then he tweeted seconds after Doom, Doom, Doom. Then we have My Time to Shine, who isn't as reliable, recently tweeted a Dr. Doom image as well, saying, yes, Doom. And not only that, we had, uh, you know, I know you guys love this page on Twitter. Moth Culture also tweeted around about the same time. You know, they're all talking about Doom according to sources. Marvel Studios created an entire practical suit for Doctor Doom auditions, rumoured to have been seen in more than one test screening. Now, literally everyone's debunked what they said because no one seems to like Moth Culture Source. But let's be honest, they've got some things right, they've got some things wrong, just like every other freaking scooper in the game. I think if you are a scooper in the game, you're going to take a lot of L's, but you're also going to take some dubs. So I, from my standpoint, I think Doctor Doom's going to appear in this in some capacity, and I'm more looking forward to Black Panther 2 because of Namor and also because of the potential of Doctor Doom than I am actually Thor Love and Thunder because that movie seems like it's gonna be eh, I don't know so and also if you, people like Charles Murphy also posted this back in January Doctor Doom may have a minor role in Black Panther Wakanda forever and it's just so I see sin what was said in Bleeding Cool but you gotta take it obviously with a pinch of salt Bleeding Cool reporting a very minor role in the story they've heard that Marvel Studios have already been working on a costume of some kind which adds to the potential appearance we've heard very little about the Fantastic Four film so far it's uncertain if it's entered some form of pre-production as of now so if they're already trying to bring Marvel Conic villain this early on it seems they're likely appearing in a project sooner rather than later and it could potentially be teased between Wakandian and Atlantean War but as we know now they're going with a Mayan Latino kind of story change and that's not me making stuff up this has literally been reported everywhere to the point where the actor came out and said that he's had to learn a different language specifically for this role. So I'm going to attempt to say his name. Tanaka, I believe that's how you pronounce it, said that for this role, he had to learn Mayan for an up-and-coming role. Although it's officially not being confirmed that Tanayan, Tanaka, is playing Namor. It's literally reported everywhere, but he said he had to learn Mayan for this role. The role in question is the MCU Namor, the anti-hero who is set to appear as the main villain in Wakanda Forever. The actor was unable to confirm the specifics of the project in question. Something Marvel Studios himself have also remained silent on. But as part of a deal as joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it hasn't been an easy journey. The actor revealed that whilst Hollywood accepting of diversity may be slow, those same discussions have only just began in Mexico assuming they're happening at all. So he went on to say this. In a recent interview, Tanakin confirmed that he has been learning Mayan language for a role that he spent months in Atlanta GA filming, the project in which he used the knowledge for. And as we know, that is where they should shot some of Wakanda Forever, Black Panther 2. So that pretty much confirms that he will be playing Namor. It's all but confirmed to be in this movie. He's listed everywhere. Every single respected source. Everyone is literally saying it. It's been over the internet for years. Realistically, it's nothing new. And also in the news, Storm could be introduced during Black Panther 2. War Stu said years ago it was going to be Rihanna. Okay, sorry. I was wrong. But we've had Professor X and X-Men introduced in multiple Versus the Madness, Reed Richards, Fantastic Four, introduced in that movie. So the X-Men are already here. So this actress is rumored to be playing Storm, although there's no official confirmation. Realistically, there is comic book history with T'Challa and Storm. I understand that T'Challa, we don't know what's going on with Black Panther in this movie. We believe it could be Shuri or Onbaku, but Still, Storm could appear. So the actress in question has been in question for over a year if she's actually playing Storm, but we don't know. But I thought it was interesting to add it to the video. So Mike Keller Cole has been cast in to Wakanda Forever. Black Panther 2, could she be Storm? We don't know. It's entirely possible that she will be Storm. Obviously, they're finished shooting now. There may be reshoots and most likely will be reshoots before the November release. But we've already seen, we've already seen Professor X in the movie Multiverse of Madness. So it would make sense now that mutants can run wild and the only place where Storm could realistically debut in the MCU, where it would make the most sense, would be in Black Panther because of the history with her 
and T'Challa, which obviously, rest in peace, the original T'Challa, they're not going to recast T'Challa in the MCU, so someone else will take over the mantle, like we said before. It's most likely going to be M'Baku, but maybe Shiri temporarily, then she'll give the title to M'Baku. But we could have some off-screen history with Storm turning up, looking for T'Challa or something like that. And they could easily slide Storm, Mikaela Cole into the storyline massively, but we don't know who she actually will be playing. So I thought it would be worth saying that because now they have the rights to the Fantastic Four, to the X-Men, etc. It would make sense. But there is a bit of a plot leak where it says that Shiri, I mean, take this with a pinch of salt. Shiri raises Charla's son in Puerto Rico. I mean, they recently shot in Puerto Rico. Maybe. It's also worth saying that allegedly the Savage Lands will be introduced and teased and will be placed in the Antarctic. Interesting enough, one of the VFX artists did confirm the Savage Lands was teased during Multiverse and Madness. And it goes on to say that Riri Williams finds Vibranian in Antarctic at the end of the movie stroke post credit scene. Interesting. There is a lot of possibilities for this movie. That's why it's my most anticipated movie, even Marvel-wise, even over Thor 4. Because don't get me wrong, there's a lot of hype Thor uh, Love and Thunder, but there's more hype for Black Panther 2 because no one seems to know nothing about what is going to be happening. And there's a lot of controversy in the community when you talk about Black Panther 2, because what do they do with Black Panther? Obviously, there's multiple avenues they can go down. They either recast him, which we know they haven't done, or they give the mantle to someone else. But either way, it doesn't matter what they're going to do. People will see it as disrespectful just for actually having someone else play Black Panther in Wakanda Forever. And you know it's going to come. And also, recently in the rumor mill, I guess you could say, there's been rumors of a Doctor Doom Cirrus coming to Disney+. Plus. If that is true, I I mean, I could see them doing that. Doctor Doom does have a big presence when it comes to Secret Wars, and we know it all leads to Secret Wars. They would have to introduce Doctor Doom in another project first, which most likely is going to be Black Panther 2, because these rumors have been swerving around the internet for the longest time possible. When there's even fake images going around, I'm looking at one right now, a rumor image floating around of what looks like Doctor Doom concept art, probably fake. Yeah, that is fake looking at it. But it is interesting that people are going to the fact people freaking want Doctor Doom and we know Fantastic Four is coming so Doctor Doom will be coming and he will be part of Secret Wars we know a Kang variant will appear in Ant-Man and Quantumania that was made clear in the Loki series what have you just done and then loads literally everyone keeps posting this Doctor Doom is coming I really hope Doctor Doom is coming because there's a lot of validity there there's a lot of evidence there but you've got to remember there was a lot of hype around potential Secret Wars because we haven't really had much Marvel Marvel hype in years. Yes, there was for No Way Home, but like I said, guys, you take away the villains, you take away Toby and Andrew, and there's no hype there at all. So we need some freaking hype, and I believe Doctor Doom can bring the hype to the train because Doctor Doom is absolute hype. And if we're getting Doctor Doom, that's sweet. We already know we're getting Kang the Conqueror. It all leads to Secret Wars. Like multiple creators have been saying over the years, Doctor Doom is coming. We've spoke about Doctor Doom multiple times before, and it looks like there will be have to be some origin for Doctor Doom. But if Doctor Doom is behind why Namor and the Wakandans are going to be fighting, that is freaking sick. So like always, guys, I will be doing more Marvel-based content coming up over the next few weeks or so. Let me know what you want me to cover. I am hyped for Thor 4, but there doesn't really seem to be much hype seeing as the movie comes out in less than six weeks. Doesn't seem to be much hype about it. I've done a video about Phase 4 and why it's being interpreted badly. Although, realistically, if you look at Marvel Phase 1 to Phase 3, it was kind of all over the place until Marvel Phase 4. Let me know everything down below, guys. Any requested videos, hit me up in the comments down below what you want me to cover. Check us out on Instagram at Wall Studio if you want to see the beautiful face behind that beautiful voice. Also, check us out, please, on Twitter. I'm trying to grow a community over there. I don't have many followers over there. Wall Studio G. Subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on. Comment to help the channel grow. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.